everyone, it's Jennifer McGuire and I'm doing a guest video for Simon Says Stamp. In this video I wanted to show you how to create this one layer card using stamps that you kind of build together to create images. These are really popular these days in stamping and there are some fantastic ones on the market. So I thought I'd show you how I go about using these stamp sets where you build pieces together to create one stamped image in lots of colors and often one layer cards. So this is a Paisley stamp set from uh, W plus 9. I think this is a fantastic example. You can see there's lots of pieces that you can build together to create a pattern. And in this set from W plus 9 there are some greetings that are work well together for building a greeting together. So there are lots of these stamp sets on the market and these are just two that I decided to use today. Now here I have arranged my stamps on a note card to kind of get them an idea of where I want them to land when I do the stamping. A little trick I do is I take a picture of my so-called sketch and I keep that aside so that I can follow this as I go ahead and do all the stamping on the card. This just saves me the time of drawing an actual sketch. So now it's time to build up all these layers of stamping. Now since this is a one layer card and is relying solely on stamping, I want to make sure that I use a really good ink. So I'm using the Hero Art Shadow Inks because they stamp even and smooth and dry into a nice solid image. I have two tips for you when creating a kind of build it stamping uh, card like this that's one layer. One is to practice how you're going to uh, arrange all the colors. So I've practiced that so I'm ready to go. And the other thing is to start with your greeting. Stamp that first so you don't run out of room. You want that greeting to really stand out nice and strong. So I went ahead and stamped the greeting with black and then that little sub greeting with gray. And I really think that builds together to kind of create something a little bit different. Now it's time to do all the stamping around that. I'm going to use some Hero Arts Shadow Inks. These, like I said, are great for one layer stamping because they stamp nice and even after they've dried. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the biggest images first. And I'm going to do this in a Hero Arts Tide Pool ink. You can see I have my greeting already stamped on the white note card. So I'm going to start with the biggest images first and then I'll just build everything inside of that and around that. I really like this stamp set from W plus 9 because it has all these layers that you build inside of these large paisleys. And then there's also images that work standalone that don't require the building up of the stamped image. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this stamp set. There's a lot of these on the market and I really encourage you to try them. Some people seem intimidated by them, but if you look at the examples that these companies have online, they're really easy to follow and you can be creating something with lots of great colors. So now it's time to stamp the next layer in. So I'm using the Hero Arts uh, soft, sh uh, soft Granite ink. It's a great soft gray. Now this is, these little pieces look kind of silly because they're just a cluster of flowers, but look at They're intended to fit perfectly inside of this, uh, the Paisley stamped image. So I'm using some Pale Tomato ink for this. And you can see how nicely it fits. Now you'll notice there I didn't completely stamp one of the flowers here. But never fear, I'll show you a trick to fix that later on. It's just a tiny little error, but I want to fix that later on. So now that I have the pink flowers there, I'm going to go in with the leaves. This looks like a silly image also, but look at it. It's perfectly sized to fit inside that paisley alongside those flowers to create little leaves. There's Again, I think this building of stamped images is really something that's innovative in the stamping world and it helps you to create these one layer cards with lots and lots of color. Next I have these two little dots. See those two little dots where they're tiny, two little tiny flowers? They're actually perfectly spaced so that you can fill in these open areas on the sides of the paisley. So I'm using some soft cantaloupe ink here and you'll see it'll just fit perfectly into those little holes right there on the sides of the paisley. Perfect placement. Now I think this would be a great card design for uh, mass production because what you can do is go through and stamp all the outside of the paisleys on all the cards and then the next step, the inside of the paisleys, then all the flowers and you can just crank out a lots, lots of these at once while you have the inks and their stamps out. Now for that little flower that I didn't completely stamp, this is one trick that I use. I use the tip of my stylus just to dab ink on to, from the ink pad right onto the little area where you need to fill in. This is a great trick and nobody will ever know that you didn't stamp that well originally. Now I'm going to use part of this little image to put some yellow in the center of these flowers. So this is the image I just used for the little flowers on the side of the paisley. But I'm just inking up the one so that I can get a touch of yellow in the center of the flowers. You could cut this apart if you wanted to, but by just inking one of them it's very quick and easy to do and there's no need to cut your stamps. And by the way, when I finished the card, I did go in with a white gel pen and put a little dot of white in the center of those flowers, just for a little bit of contrast and fun. 
Next, I wanted to create some of those flowers that are around the paisleys now that I've built my paisleys up. So I'm just going to take some of the random little flowers. There's lots of pieces on the stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp a variety around the paisleys just to kind of fill in the spaces. There's really no rhyme or reason. But one little tip that I have is I usually put a couple flowers or a couple pieces of whatever you're scattering close together like I did with that pale tomato and soft cantaloupe flower. I put them close together and then I put one off by itself kind of in a triangle format and that's what that yellow butter bar flower is. And then I'll scatter some on the other side and follow a lot of the same tips. But you'll see they kind of go in a wave around it. Now I needed some little leaves to go with these flowers so I'm just inking up the one set of leaves on this piece that I stamped in the paisley earlier. And you can see how quick and easy you can get these tiny leaves. And finally I'm going in with just these little flowers and just adding one little flower here and there with the soft pool ink. So there you have a one layer card using the type of build it up stamp set. So my tips for creating a card like this is to start with the greeting to make sure that it stands prominent and start with the bigger elements first and work your way to the smaller. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit simonsaysstamp.com.